Uh, yes, my name is Stephanie. I am currently teaching at a um, all boys grammar school in North London um, called Queen Elizabeth School. Um, and a bit about me and my background. So I'm, I'm young and I'm new into teaching and I my, my background in terms of my degree and what I studied was industrial design and technology. And on my placement year, I decided I would go and work in a school to see if the sort of teaching world was for me. Um, and I, of course, fell in love with it as most teachers do um, and felt that it was a little bit more of um, sort of a calling, maybe, as cringy as that sounds. And I, I really enjoyed working with young people um i also did a so there's sort of two sort of very contrasting environments that i've been in one being the selective grammar school which i currently am at now where we've got boys of a very high standard and working ability um and there's a very sort of a a, a very minute range in that ability um also versus a comprehensive um, school with which is co-ed co -ed. Um, and I noticed I noticed in both schools that I felt like this whole uh, sort of looking into looking into design as an actual potential career was almost like unaccessible or inaccessible to them and even boys say in my school now who've got the sort of top, top grades, they were not considering a career in design. And I wanted to get to the root cause of that. Um, and because I went straight into teaching after my degree, I didn't feel that I had a good grasp on industry itself. Um, my head of department, I, I, spoke, I spoke to my head of department um, and I, I said, you know, I, I kind of feel that maybe I'm lacking in some experience, um, perhaps that sort of older teachers might have had after having worked in industry. I'd like to I'd like to try it out, but I still obviously wanted to teach. So um, this seemed like the perfect opportunity to get a taster without having to commit to a career change um, just to gain that experience. Um, but as well as that after having been to Bulletproof, I can see how um, valuable it would be for people who, who are sort of further down the line in their career, who perhaps um, have not had that exposure more recently, because of course, with talent and design and um, it's always emerging and it's evolving and the expectation of, of what is required is only increasing. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I was sort of in touch with what was necessary so that I could equip my students with the right skills that they needed for industry. Um, and I think, you know, I don't want to be making wooden boxes. I want to be preparing them for real, like the real design world. And um, obviously with Bulletproof being a design agency, it's just one factor of that. But I can't tell you, like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to tell you sort of like the, how much I gain. So, um, yeah, like I said, I heard about teachers in, resi in residence through my head of department. Um, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to do it last sort of summer, but because of lockdown, I couldn't. So I picked the October half term. Uh, that goes to prove how much I wanted to go to Bulletproof because I was quite happy and very like very willing to sort of give up any break that I had to experience uh, this. I really saw, saw the value. Um, when I was there, I Debbie introduced me to probably everybody that I could possibly talk to in the business who was there at the studio. Um, that was some of those conversations were were so important to the overall experience because um, I was able to speak to people for, through through various sort of segments of the company. Um, I probably had my own 
there was misconceptions of my own that I had about what a design consultancy was. Um, that's probably why I didn't go into the design world off straight after uni, but it's almost sort of blown my mind a little bit how many uh, how 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 many factors there are. So I spoke to people in client services who were creative people, but they weren't doing the creative work. I spoke to people in strategy. I spoke to um, people in motion design and animation. I spoke to the um, founder. I spoke to graduates who were sort of junior designers, midweight, senior designers. And something I picked up on whilst I was there were how many roles existed within just one sort of consultancy. Um, that is something that I was able to feed back to my students because when I was um, at school, I, I was kind of told like, you can't really um, teach somebody how to be creative, but you can definitely hone the skills that are required to become creative. And equally uh, within the agency itself, you, you don't, uh, it, it sort of didn't occur to me that you wouldn't actually need to be doing the designing. So all of these people were sort of all, all of my students were already ruling it out because they, they didn't really understand what it, all of the sort of variations that existed within the company and at Bulletproof. So what, through speaking to, to so many different people, I, I understood their story. I understood how they got to um, Bulletproof. And for many of them, um, there were sort of key themes being that, again, it wasn't something that their school maybe promoted, they didn't know about. It was sort of, it sort of landed on them as like some sort of happy accident. Um, and the, I, I, that was actually some a term that somebody used was a very happy accident. Um, but I, I did think to myself, surely there has to be more of a directed approach in a clear uh, way. Some of, the, some of the misconceptions are that you need to go to university, as Debbie mentioned, and that was just not the case um, after having spoken to um, quite a few people there. Um, in fact, it's really about passion and about wanting to do well and sort of hustling really is is what it's all about and having the heart to go and do it and that is something that just come through in the messaging of bulletproof with was was that it's all about hustle and heart and i i picked up on all this lingo that they were sort of using all the time and i thought you know i'm 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 only 23 and i feel very i felt very out of touch and all of a sudden like three days have gone by, I've come back to my classroom and I'm, go, I'm, 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 I'm using all this lingo. And because my, my students are really like, what's Miss doing? Uh, they sort of prick their ears up and all of a sudden they're interested, they're engaged because after going, to the, going on the residency, I felt like, an, I just felt more enthused about my, my teaching. I felt like I had a greater responsibility to share the um, opportunities that were out there, a lot of which I didn't even know existed myself. Um, and then they're saying to me, Miss, can I go and do work experience at Bulletproof? And it's sort of like, the conversation just changed. So now, now I do operate my classes as though I am working in industry. Um, it's, it's not about, you know, old fashioned methods, which, you know, they have their place, but I think the application into the 21st century is crucial. Um, and I think I've had very good feedback from my um, head of department and my colleagues. And this is something that we're looking to implement in our scheme of work. We are all trying, we're all very on board with this. And I think it, you know, it does help a lot when you work in a school that um, are trying to promote d &T. In a lot of schools, um, I know a lot of staff do feel that there is friction and that they're kind of fighting for their subject. 
So this is probably why we are not able to find the talent pool that Debbie talks about that they're looking for because you know if we don't if we don't sort of highlight DT as a valued subject um, then students will recognize that quite easily and they'll see the gaps and it does sort of flow down um, and I think to be honest the number one skill in any industry that that needs to be honed is firstly um, creativity and secondly empathy and uh, Bulletproof do that very well they have got a good grip on their staff they know their staff they 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 hire very you know they're very particular with the type of people that they want to work for them and and if we are not honing in those skill sets at school, well, where else are we are we getting that from? Um, so it's it's kind of changed, you know, like I said, it's changed my mindset about my responsibility as not just a subject teacher, but as a teacher, you know, in general, um, about what I want my how I want my students to leave school. And I do teach from year seven to year eleven currently. You know, at least in my in my environment. Uh, being being in a being in a grammar school, sometimes we got the typical sort of medical engineering routes, and um, this needs to have a this needs to have a bigger place on the podium. I feel. Um, anyway, so that was probably the most insightful thing is being able to talk to, talk to lots of different people and building those connections so that I know, you know, I've I've built some strong relationships even just in three days that. I know and, and I've, I've been able to sort of understand people's stories um, and design, of course, is all about storytelling. So when I am um, when I've you know, when things get more back to normal, I'm going to certainly, you know, invite um, people from Bulletproof to come in and equally um, maybe um, take some of my students to bulletproof because I do think that they need, they need to see firsthand. I almost felt that when I was there, it shouldn't have been me. I wanted my student to experience what I experienced. Um, and I felt, I just felt a little, I was a little bit like, oh, I'm, I'm gutted they can't just see this for themselves. So hopefully we can establish that. And I know that people at Bulletproof are really, really keen to, to do so. But you also do have a little bit of reluctancy from industry as well, because obviously there's, there's not, not so much with Bulletproof, but it's extra work, isn't it? Um, but if, if, industry, if industries want talent, then they need to find the source. And the source normally comes from inspiring children. So without the collaboration, we can't, then they're not going to get what they want. So it's like an equal relationship, I think. Um, I would have loved to have stayed there longer. Um, I wish I, I, if, to be honest, I thought, oh, this, this seems like it could be for me. Um, so, you know, I, even I was, I, it, they convinced me. They convinced me, so that's good. That's good enough. Um, and yeah, like I said, I would definitely recommend this teachers and residents residency. Whilst I am very early on in my career, and the reason why I went for it was because I felt almost like I had a bit of an imposter syndrome. Like, do I actually know about design? Um, it confirmed that I do know a lot about design. But it also gave me the confidence to say, well, actually, I do actually, I really do know that this is going to lead you to a career. Um, it gave me that extra confidence. And I think it would be worthwhile to, to anybody at any point in their career.